The Berenstain Dog Sleepover by Jan and Mike Berenstain. The Berenstain Dog Sleepover. Nabata and Shizuka were having a sleepover. Annie and Susie are Nabata and Shizuka's best friends. They were going to spend the night. Susie and Annie's parents brought them to the dog's treehouse. I hope Susie and Annie sleep well tonight, said Mr. Carmichael. Make sure they do not stay up too late, said Louis' mom. Susie and Annie put their things in Nabata and Shizuka's room, and they all have dinner. After dinner, they playing dogry. Susie was winning in the dog's tree houses. Other puppies had gave up. Next they watch a movie, is about cape with superpowers. The puppies decided to put on their own magic show they got costumes out of the attic. The audience was Lousy Mon Dr. Eggman and Baby Peach. The show went well until Annie tripped on his magic cape he knocked over Nabata Shizuka and Susie they laughed and laughed. The show is over said Lousy Mom time for bed. The puppies put on their pajamas. They washed up and brushed their teeth. Lousy mom and Dr. Eggman read them a bedtime story and tuck their in. Good night, everybody, said Lousy mom. Turn off the lights. Lousy mom and Dr. Eggman went to bed and were soon asleep. But the puppies were not at all sleepy. Nabata got out his flashlight. Let's tell spooky stories, said Nabata. Lousy mom woke up. She thought she heard something. She woke Dr. Eggman and they went to the puppy's room. Shizuka and Susie hiding the covers. Nabata and Annie seemed to be sleeping. What is going on here? asked Dr. Eggman. Nabata has tell spooky stories, said Shizuka. And Susie got scared and yelled. That enough spooky stories, said Lousy Mom. Now everybody go to sleep. Lousy Mom and Dr. Eggman went back to bed. Lousy Mom heard something again. She woke Dr. Eggman. And they went downstairs. They found the puppies in the kitchen eating snacks. It is too late for snacks, said Lousy Mom back to bed. Lousy Mom and Dr. Eggman went back to bed again but Lousy Mom heard a sound of the bathroom. She woke Dr. Eggman. They found Shizuka and Susie putting on Lousy Mom's lipstick. Nabata and Annie were covered Dr. Eggman's shaving cream. That enough of that said Lousy Mom back to bed. Now the puppies were worn out they went right to sleep. Lousy Mom and Dr. Eggman set outside the puppy's room all night they do not get much sleep. The next morning the puppy slept late at the 11 o'clock Mr. and Mr. Carmichael came to pick up Susie and Annie I was so worried about them said Mr. Carmichael. I didn't sleep a wink all night neither did we said Dr. Eggman his eyes closing. After Susie and Annie went home, lousy mom and Dr. Eggman sat down on the sofa. They were soon asleep. It was Lousy Mom and Dr. Eggman's turn for a sleepover.